Okay, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. All praise to Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai, double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and our shalom to the elect. And our basis is going to go into a topic. You know, me and the brother was just, just discussing, you know, he was breaking bread and he was, you know, talking about spiritual highs and spiritual lows. And, uh, and, uh, it's something that, you know, from what I'm talking to different brothers, it actually happens, you know, uh, to where you get into like a, you know, a spiritual low, if you will, when, you know, you feel like, you know, um, you're not doing as much as your potential. All right. Uh, and you feel like, you know, you should be doing more videos. You feel like, you know, uh, you should be, uh, praying more or, 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 or reading more or being around the Aki more, you know, uh, you know, those, that feeling of your mind is going to, uh, is going to occur, you know, that thought in your mind is going to occur, you know, uh, part of it is that, you know, Satan is tempting you, you know, and, you know, and also too, you know, you know, Satan is tempting you and, uh, basically trying to tell you you're not a man of the Lord, you know, but uh, scripture that <clears throat> that popped up in my mind as I was uh, talking to the brother, you know, uh, was uh, Psalms 137, all right, is uh, one, Psalms 137, in, uh, right, verse, right, verse 5. Uh, if I forget thee, O Jerusalem, this is King David uh, talking, he's speaking in the spirit. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. Right? If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. So as long as that's still in your mind, you know, you have Jerusalem, you have uh, uh, the brotherhood, you have uh, this truth, number one set in your mind. You know, like I said, you may not be doing the necessary things um, that you think that, you know, that you should be doing as long as that's in your mind, you know, actually checking yourself on it. That's actually having Jerusalem uh, 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 as your, uh, 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 on your mind, as your chief joy. All right. So, yeah, man, you could use that just as a foundation right there. And itself to get back up and then get on the good foot, so to speak, man. The scripture that we always like to quote is what? A uh, just man fall a seven time and get it back up, but the wicked uh, fall into mischief. All right? Because the wicked falls into mischief. Why? Because he didn't keep Jerusalem as his chief joy. All right? He forgot about Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai, man. Therefore, when that, when that happens to a man, his tongue cleaves to the roof of his mouth. All right? Meaning what? He, he, he becomes dumb. Okay, now the scripture says what? That uh, wisdom opened up the mouth of the dumb. Okay, so just remember the uh, foundation, you know, the foundation, the uh, 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 the very essentials to this truth and dwell in it and dive in it, you know, because that'll, that'll uh, open up your spirit again, you know. Now, one of the main things is uh, uh, that you should learn as a younger man coming into the truth, one of the basics some of the basic things, all right, that you need to learn, that you should learn coming into the truth is uh, prayer and fasting, man, all right? Because that's essentially how you shake demons at the end of the day. Because when you get into those spiritual lows, it's nothing but demons messing with your mind, telling you you're not a man of the Lord, telling you you ain't, you, you know, you're not, you're not fit for the kingdom or telling you, you know, all kinds of madness and evil thoughts running through your mind, tempting you, you know, with brethren, you know, telling you, uh, 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 you know, uh, giving you evil thoughts about your brothers and things of that nature. All right. And when you become overwhelmed with these thoughts, if you will, you know, and you, you your spirit is weighed down. That's the best time to, uh, uh, to pray and fast, man. All right. Because remember the story with your house shy had it on deck let me get it again when Yahweh Shai told uh the disciples they couldn't uh circum uh they couldn't uh exercise those demons right this is uh this is Mark chapter 9 
All right. And uh, Yahweh Shai exercised the demon. This is verse 27. But Yahweh Shai took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. Right? And when he was come into the house, his disciple asked privately, "What? Why could not we cast him out?" Meaning, eventually, you know, translating to the to the topic, you're gonna come across certain obstacles that become harder. Being in his truth, the scripture says, "What? Too much is given, much is required." Right? So, as you obtain more and more knowledge. As you as you obtain as as you obtain it more and more knowledge, guess what? More and more demons is gonna arise, man. All right, stronger demons are gonna arise, right? So and then so the disciples asked, says, he said, why could not we cast him out? And and he said unto them, this kind can come forth by nothing, but by prayer, prayer and fasting, right, man? Because that's how you uh, um, advance in the spirit, man. That's how you strengthen your spirit, man. All right? By prayer and fasting, man. All right? Why? Because prayer deals with faith. And you calling on Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Scripture says what? Therefore, when I am weak, th therefore, when I am weak, ye are strong. All right? So your, your, our strength is in our weakness, in submission. All right? A lot of times, that, that's the, uh, uh, those be the cases where, you know, when the Lord puts you on the spiritual lows, He wants you to submit more, man. All right, it's like the narrow, the narrow uh, passage, if you will, the narrow gate becomes narrower, you know. So you gotta, you know, make yourself fit enough, if you will, to get through the, the narrow passage, man. All right, because every every day, every week, you know, it's a battle, it's a fight. All right, and then it's not a physical fight. The main fight ain't when you out in the streets, you know, uh, uh, teaching the word of the Lord. That that's that's a part of the fight, you know. But the main fight is all throughout the week in your mind, battling your flesh, battling your desires. And when your desires, your fleshly desires, you know, become overwhelming, you have to strengthen the spirit. The scripture says what. Uh, 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 this. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. All right, and, it, the, and especially being in this world, being in Babylon, it's easy to feed the flesh, but it's harder to be spiritual. So the more harder, the more harder it is, the more the more work you need to uh uh, uh the more exercise, man. That's what I'm trying to convey. You have to exercise your spirit. You have to exercise your demons. Essentially, all right, and the main thing is about prayer and with fasting, man. And okay, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just read this as well. This is uh wisdom of Solomon. All right. Wisdom of Solomon chapter one, verse four, right? Start at verse, verse one. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of Yahweh with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek Him. Right, and that's the goal right there. Us trying to be, you know, judges, the next judges up on deck to rule the planet Earth, you know, and and, and be joint heirs with Yahweh with Yahweh Shai. All right, you. The the goal is to seek Him more, man. All right. Uh, verse two, for he will be found of them that tempt him not and show of himself unto such as do not distrust him. Right. So because when you you tempting the Lord, when you when you going astray too far. All right. There's a certain boundary that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will allow you to go if you're one of his. But if you're not one of his, he's just going to, you know, just let you go. But if you are one of his, he's going to do something to you to snatch you back. All right. To make you submit. Okay. And it's better. I know I read. Oh, man. I read that. And I'll see if I can get it in a second. 
You know, but basically the Lord, man, it's better for you to submit to the Lord than him, him making you submit. All right? So the best, best, get to the fasting, get, get, get to the work as soon as possible, man. All right? Before you get put to work. Okay? It says, for forward thoughts separate from the most high. The word forward means to be crooked. All right? For forward thoughts separate from the most high. And his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. All right, man? Because the most high jack you up, man. All right? For your forward thoughts. Verse 4. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in a body that is subject unto sin. So if you're still learning in this knowledge, and you, and you, you are still growing in the knowledge, and you got your mind... On, on your how about you know, shy, then you know that you're not a malicious soul, man. Because that's ultimately what Satan is trying to basically uh, 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 get in the minds of the elect is that what? That you're a malicious soul, man. But you got to remember, you know, you got to remember the key, the key elements to this truth, you know, and get back, hey, man, get back on the breast, man. Turn them videos on, man. You know, face the east and pray, man. You know, Call up a brother, man, and chop it up with him. All right? Don't try to feed the flesh. Don't don't call your woman up. Tell her, oh, we're going to hit the bar, get some drinks. And then you just feeding your flesh, man, because you're you going to lose like that, man. All right? But essentially, this is for, you know, for brothers that, you know, sometimes get those spiritual lows. And then, you know, you just got to remember, man, that, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is, is supping with you still. And you gotta remember, you're not a malicious soul, so therefore you gotta get to the get to the get to work, man. Just get to work, man. All right. They say that uh, uh, the mind is a devil's playground. All right. Or, or the scripture says what? Uh, the heart is deceitful above all things. So if you sit around, uh, I don't know. You know, you pondering too much, just thinking too much. First of all, that shows a lack of faith. Second of all, you just gotta get. To, you got just gotta. Go to work, man. The more you dwell on something, the more it saturates and, it, and the more it weighs you down. You're just letting those demons win. As opposed to just, like the scriptures say, girding up your loins of your mind and going to work, man. All right? So, you know, let me see if I can find that scripture real quick that I was thinking about, you know. Uh, because, uh, you want you want to you want to get the work before the Lord put you to work, man. And we see that now being in Babylon, right? Why? Because because what? If we kept the Lord's sacred commandments correctly, if we did our work correctly, we wouldn't be going through the shit that we going through, man. All right. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, oh, this is a good scripture right here. Uh, Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Hey, man, so a lot of this stuff is test too, man. You know, a lot of this stuff, the Lord uh, uh, weighs on your mind to see what you're going to do about it, man. To see if you're really strong. To see if you're really going to show, you show yourself faithful, man. Because the, the scripture says what? The things that, uh, uh, that we go through now are not worthy to be mentioned for... That we have greater promises, man. You know? Yeah. Well, I can't find it. I guess the Lord just wanted me to read that. The Spirit wanted me to read that. Probably find it as soon as I'm done. Right, but yeah, man. Hey, that's hey, brothers get the point, man. All right. Yeah, brothers, brothers get the point, man. You know, just stay strong in your fight, man. You know, when 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 a a, a a person, you know, when you you know you know your body, you know, if you like to stay in shape. You look, you go in the mirror, you look, you see that, you know, your, your weight is down or whatever the case is, or you, you feel like, you know, your body ain't in as tack as much as possible. What do you do the next day? You just hit, you hit the gym, you do your push-ups or whatever. You just get right to it, man. Because the more and more you sit there and just keep looking at your body all, 
you know, like, damn, I'm not what I used to be. You know, that moping spirit, you just want, that ain't going to help. <laughs> What's going, you got to do what helps, man. All right? And, and the scriptures say, make no thought, man, as well, man. Stop stop thinking so much, man. Just just go to work, man. All right? All praise to see how about she, I was shy, man. Double on the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, Shalom, man. We almost up out of here. Shalom.